In recent years, streetlights across the U.S. have started glowing a weird violet hue that nobody could explain. And before you think we've slipped into a parallel reality, there's a much simpler explanation. It's a technical problem, and a rather eerie one. It all started in 2021. Back then, at least 300 streetlights that had been installed in Milwaukee began glowing with a purple hue. People described it as giving off a sort of an eerie cyberpunk vibe. That was definitely not good, especially for authorities, who had to figure out a plan to fix them quickly. Replacing all those lights was going to take about 10 weeks. Plus, the crews weren't exactly thrilled about braving Milwaukee's freezing December weather to get the job done. But the problem wasn't just happening there. Month after month, people in places like Kansas, South Carolina, Illinois, and Florida said they were experiencing the same thing. Of course, this kind of news is a goldmine for folks hmm. who love a good unsolved case. Soon enough, online detectives jumped in, and theories started flooding the internet. Like, maybe the lights were supposed to repel mosquitoes, or they were releasing chemicals for some unknown reason. And my personal favorite? That Prince's ghost was taking control of those streetlights. You know, like Purple Rain? Anyway, none of that made any sense. Because the truth is, that purple hue isn't intentional. It's actually the result of an interesting and somewhat aesthetic failure in some LED chips. You see, from the very beginning of streetlights in the US, the whole idea was to keep things safe and make lighting more efficient. That's how we went from simple oil lamps to gas lamps and through a bunch of other attempts until we finally ended up with electric lighting. Then, about 15 years ago, cities across America started switching their streetlights from sodium lamps to LEDs. And that changed the color of many nighttime roads from a yellowish-orange tone to a bright white. Now this change makes total sense. LEDs are one of the most energy-efficient lighting technologies out there. Let's take an old light bulb, for example. With this one, 90% of its energy turns into heat, not light. But if we look at an LED bulb, it's the opposite. Only about 10-20% to of its energy becomes heat, and the rest goes into producing light. They also last way longer. Now, LED stands for light-emitting diode. These tiny diodes can shine in all kinds of colors. But one color they don't naturally produce is white. So when you see white LEDs, like the ones in streetlights and probably inside your own home, they're actually pulling off a clever trick on your eyes. To make white light, you could mix tiny dots of red, green, and blue LEDs together until they blend into white, kind of like mixing paint colors on an artist's palette. That's one way to do it. But there's another, more popular, and energy-saving method that's usually used in streetlights. Instead of using three colors, manufacturers often start with just blue LEDs. But they coat these blue LEDs with a special fluorescent substance called phosphor. When the bright blue light from the LED hits this layer of yellow silicone phosphor, some of the blue light gets absorbed and transformed into red and yellow light. These new colors mix together with the remaining blue light, and voila! The glow looks white to our eyes. Now, you might be asking, why go through all this trouble? Well, making LEDs shine red and green takes more energy than simply making them shine blue. So sticking with blue LEDs and using phosphor saves electricity. Plus, it's simpler and cheaper because it needs less complicated wiring and few different LED chips. It's a win-win for cities trying to keep costs down and lights on. Of course, this phosphor trick doesn't work for everything. TVs and color-changing light bulbs need to produce many colors precisely, so they still use separate red, green, and blue LEDs. But when it comes to simply lighting up a street in white light, the blue LED plus phosphor method is the favorite choice. Normally, this technique works really well for street lights, and the materials manufacturers use to make phosphor are extremely stable. But since this weird purple phenomenon is all over the internet, there's no denying that this is happening. So specialists had to start looking for a cause. It turns out the phosphor coating had probably worn off or hadn't been applied correctly in the first place. Over time, the phosphor layer in some LED devices can start to break down. And without that yellowish filter, 
they end up shining more blue, giving them a purple glow instead of white. And the reason the problem only showed up after 2021 is because a specific batch of new streetlights that got installed all over the country. Thankfully, it seems like lighting manufacturers have figured out the issue. As a result, you're unlikely to see this problem come back in the next few years. And there you have it. No conspiracies, no prince's ghost. Too bad. Just a little bit of color-mixing wizardry gone wrong. And little by little, the signature purple glow started disappearing as lamps slowly failed or got replaced. Now that's too bad for fans of the purple lights. Yeah, there have been plenty of reports from people who thought they looked nice. They felt the purple glow gave off enough light to see without being so bright that it hurt their eyes. But in the end, the lights had to be replaced for safety reasons. After all, street lights are supposed to help you see when it gets dark outside, and the purple lights just aren't very good at that. Some people even had their houses broken into and blamed the poor lighting for making their neighborhoods feel more vulnerable. And then there's driver safety, too. The color of the light shining on a roadway can change the way drivers see their surroundings as they make their way through the night. So inside your eyeballs are tiny helpers called photoreceptors. They come in two types, cones and rods. Think of cones as your daytime buddies. They love bright light and are the reason you can see all the beautiful colors around you. But when the sun goes down and things get dim, cones start slacking off. That's when the rods step in to save the day or rather, the night. Rods are the night shift workers of your eyes. They're super sensitive and help you see in low light, even if everything looks more like shades of gray than full color. But here's the thing. Rods are extra good at picking up light from the blue part of the spectrum. In other words, bluish light stands out more to your rods than other colors do in the dark. Now, most rods hang out in the outer edges of your retina, the part of your eye responsible for peripheral vision. So, when you're driving at night under bluish streetlights and you suddenly catch a hint of motion out of the corner of your eye, that's your rods doing their job. Under bluish light, they're even quicker to spot things moving around in your periphery than they would be under yellowish white lights. That boost in your peripheral vision under bluish light comes with a bit of a trade-off. Sure, your rods are great for spotting movement out of the corner of your eye, but the moment you try to look straight at whatever is moving, bam! it can suddenly get harder to see and focus. So it's not super safe for drivers. Okay, but does the purple glow actually affect our eyesight or cause any long-term problems? Manufacturers say we can rest easy because this effect is harmless. I mean, there's no evidence that anyone's been hurt by it. But it's true that blue light scatters more easily than most other visible light and can make it harder for your eyes to focus, especially in low light conditions. So, yeah, I guess we can all be glad that this purple lighting is finally going back to white. See? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.